Aw, here we have a very nice normal family that lives in Ohio. Now, nah, just kidding, they're actually Russian spies. And the two daughters are being sent off for training. Thank you for giving me these girls. I'll definitely not put you in prison as your reward. What? Uh, don't worry about it. Many years later, Black Widow is on the run because she helped Captain America, who is being known as a war criminal. Meanwhile, this person is being attacked, but before she dies, she's able to defeat her attacker with a substance known as Red Dust. The attacker known as Black Widow's fake sister Yelena has been freed from mind control and she discovers a briefcase full of red dust. Meanwhile, Black Widow is able to find a safe house with help from this guy, who's very nice. He also delivers her a briefcase as well. Later that night, Black Widow goes driving, but then she gets attacked. The attacker is a mysterious person known as Taskmaster, who's trying to get the briefcase from her. Black Widow finds out that the briefcase she has on her is from her fake sister. She makes it to the city of Budapest, but then she gets attacked. After attacking each other, Yelena tells Black Widow that Dracov is still alive. Black Widow is furious because she thought she killed Dracov many years ago, along with his daughter by accident, although what happened to Dracov was supposed to be on purpose. During their conversation, then they get attacked. Black Widow and Yelena realize the only way to find Dracov might be through their fake father, which they are able to get to him because the guy who is being nice is giving them a free helicopter. At a prison in Russia, they are able to find who they are looking for. However, the fake father does not know where Dracov is, but he does know of someone who might. <laughs> On a farm in Russia, they encounter their fake mother who has been working with Dracov for a long time. And she's not really known for her farming skills. <coughs> However, Black Widow decides to get angry. My feelings for this family were never real. They are real to me! And then they are all captured. They are being imprisoned in a facility known as the Red Room. <laughs> However, they are able to escape because Black Widow and her fake mother switched places when no one was looking. Meanwhile, the fake mother who is known as Black Widow gets to confront Dracov. The Taskmaster is also there, who turns out to be Tony Masters, a former S.H.I.E.L.D. agent who has a photographic memory of what his opponents can do. Hey Natasha, long time no see. Nah, just kidding, that doesn't actually happen at all. Instead, it turns out to be Antonia, Dracov's daughter which Black Widow thought she killed a long time ago. And then she is given a task to take care of her family. Hooray! Red Guardian is victorious! Black Widow tries to defeat Dracov, but she can't, because he smells! The smell is too powerful for her to overcome, so she breaks her nose in order to become immune. I'm out of here. Black Widow is in trouble, but not anymore. Now the other Black Widows are free. Dracov tries to escape, but Yelena makes sure that doesn't happen. The Red Room has been destroyed and everyone is falling. Don't worry, they're fine. Also Antonia is there as well. And now she's free from the mind control as well. Black Widow says goodbye to her fake family. However, she gets caught by some people trying to catch her. Two weeks later, she meets up with the guy that is very nice to her, and he gives her a free Quinjet. She flies off to make amends with her other family, the Avengers. Oh, by the way, it's his fault that she's dead.